Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and this is a continuation of my Mars series. This is Mars and Sagittarius. Since Sagittarius is a fire sign and Mars is a planet of fire, you'd think nothing would happen. You just throw Mars and Sagittarius and then walk away because it just diluted itself in fire. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> Sagittarius is it's a sign of higher learning, of knowledge and travel, and of mind expansion. So basically, if your Mars is in Sagittarius, where Mars is passion and anger and joy and happiness and sex and strong emotions, you'll find that the Mars and Sagittarius people get pretty passionate about things that they know. Biggest indicator of them is that they seem to be full of shit. <laughs> they talk a lot and you kind of are like, they will just start shooting off, spouting off information that they may or may not know. And they might have really heated arguments and they'll just be talking a lot and like, this is what's going on. And they don't have any information to back it up, but this is what they feel and what they know. And sometimes they're right. Sometimes they actually do have the proper knowledge behind what they're passionate about. Other times, they don't. <laughs> but all in all, the Mars and Sag is very good natured. They don't want to offend you. Sometimes they just might happen to offend you because they're not really paying attention to what they're saying. Sagittarius to me is a very aloof sign. And it's because it's not an, a personal sign. Sagittarians, the ninth house, all that, they don't necessarily want to stick close with people and give lots of hugs and kisses all the time, they're kind of always just looking out, you know? There's a big world out there and I want to see it and I want to be a part of it. And so if your Mars is there, that's kind of how they're having arguments. They're never really arguing with you. They're just arguing. <laughs> I'm not saying Sagittarius is flaky and flighty by any means. I'm just saying they're not looking here, they're looking out there. So maybe I should do this whole video by not looking at the camera because that's a Sagittarius trait. <laughs> maybe you will argue about politics, but not because you are trying to argue with somebody else's political nature, but you're just arguing politics and that's over here. It has nothing to do with what's in here or what's in somebody else's heart. You don't want to fuck that up with other people. Mars and Sagittarius people don't like seriousness, which is funny because most people might think that when the Mars and Sag is getting heated, that they're completely serious, but ultimately they're not. They, they want, they actually run away from any serious nature. They don't want to deal with emotions and anger of other people. In a way, they seem a little bit bipolar or like they can dish it, but they can't take it. And it's not because that's actually their case. They're dishing it, not meaning to offend, not even directing it at a certain person. And you can't help it, as I've learned, and I don't have my Mars in Sag, but I would have learned from, say, making hate videos about a sign, which is totally not about a person, it's about a sign, I didn't talk about anybody who watched the videos in particular, no. These are all people who don't watch my videos that I talked about. They should be offended. <laughs> but everybody else shouldn't be offended. Mars and Sag feels that way. You're like, yeah, I was just talking about how much I hate this, but you're not this. I'm stating something else, and I'm passionate about it, and I'm a little angry about it, and I'm going crazy about it, but I'm still feeling lighthearted. People on the outside looking into that sort of behavior get very confused by it when in reality the Mars and Sag is not dishing it to you so they don't understand why you are trying to critique them back. It can be a little bit of an upset in the relationship. Mars and Sag doesn't want to be serious and so the Mars and Sag itself doesn't want to be serious in bed. They don't want to have to deeply connect to somebody on that level. A little bit like the Mars and Gemini, but it's not in the fact that they, they disconnect it. 
they can be very connected in bed, but they don't want to be. They would much rather have that be fun time and not have to experience some sort of spiritual connection there because it just can be too much and I feel bad for those who have their Mars and Sag and it's because I believe that you are mistakenly treated as shallow and flaky and flighty and you're not you have a lot of sense of knowledge and learning things you just kind of get a little bit scared when things become too serious too quickly and you do have feelings that get hurt because you're not paying attention to the way people are reacting to you before they start yelling at you. You're a little bit unaware of your surroundings and what people think of you. And it's true, for the most part, you don't care what people think about you. But all of a sudden, if someone is up in your face, you're just really caught off guard. You don't know how to handle it. You can lie or you can become afraid, which I've seen Mars and Sag just do, especially as children, Mars and Sag just want to just kind of run their mouth all the time. And then they find out that when they do, it hurts people, that people don't like that, that people have feelings because they're not totally connected to other people's feelings. The Mars and Sag native is not necessarily going to be paying attention to that all the time. And that's why things can kind of happen. And they ruffle feathers when they don't necessarily mean to. A Mars and Sag is going to get really offended if someone doesn't believe what they're saying. If someone tries to contradict it. They do take their philosophies and their ideas and stuff very seriously. So they can be very defiant and rebellious in nature. And maybe have a little bit of an attitude. It's because the Mars and Sag so badly wants to have their own opinion. And wants to have their own opinion cherished and loved. And people won't always do that for them. Especially since normally their arguments are so convincing, people tend to just believe them or just go along with their story or, you know, not think anything of it. And so it's those people then that all of a sudden are just like, no, that doesn't make any sense. And they're like, what? No one says that to me. You don't get to tell me that. You just need to be a little bit more self-aware and a little bit more aware of other people's feelings. And to know that, Sometimes when you're spouting off random things that you know t to be true, not everybody has the same brain as you. Not everybody thinks the same things. Not everybody's going to take your word as fact. And so you really have to learn to be okay with disappointments. Anyway, that's your Mars and Sag.